Imagine that you go to the doctor for a simple sore throat and infection. You're told that you have an infection, you're given antibiotics, and you're told that you're going to start to feel better within a week. Two weeks go by, and your condition has not only improved, you actually feel worse. You are hospitalized because the infection is now spread throughout your body. You're given multiple treatments, but nothing seems to work until you're told that you're infected with a bacteria that is resistant to antibiotics, and there's nothing else that can be done to help you, all from a simple sore throat. Antibiotic resistance is now a major concern. It happens when bacteria become stronger and they, be and they develop the ability to defeat the drugs that have been made to kill them. Each year in the United States, over two million people are infected with bacteria that are antibiotic resistance. And of those people, over 23,000 of them die because of lack of treatment options. Because of this, researchers like me have been working to combat, uh, to find ways of combating bacterial infections without the use of antibiotics. To do this, we need to understand exactly how bacteria manage to enter our body and to bypass our body's defense system and cause infection. One of the reasons that bacteria can do this is because they have a protective shield around them called the capsule. This capsule has multiple purposes. One of the purposes is that it can protect the bacteria from its environment once it enters our body. It's much like wearing a winter coat to protect us from the harsh winter conditions of Maine. The other purpose of the capsule is that it can act as a camouflage. So uh, some bacteria have evolved in a way where they have the exact same molecules on their surface that we have on the surface of the cells in our body. This makes the bacteria uh, be able to sort of blend in, and it makes it very difficult for our body's immune system to recognize the bacteria as a threat and to eliminate it. The focus of my research is understanding the genes and the building blocks that are responsible for making this capsule knowing that we can develop medicine that, is, um, that specifically targets these building blocks. This will allow the bacteria to not be able to make the capsule. And once it doesn't make the capsule, obviously our immune system um, can very easily um, eliminate the bacteria without the use of antibiotics. Thank you.